Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art again. And I'm going to put out this video separate from the reading of our book. I'm going to read a little bit of our book tonight. But um, with Chernobyl on fire and Abe shaking hands with Obama, like, I don't know about you, but my like red flares have been going off. And I really, I really want to encourage all of us that listen to my channel and that are part of the Fuku fight to get our courage feet on, to really put them on and refuse to walk in fear. And just like walk in love and really understand that love is greater than fear. And understand that we are going to win the issue because our it, it's killing itself along with lots of other people and some of us actually. But not all of us, and that's the point, not all of us. And they will stop. It will stop. It is stopping. But with Fukushima going on, I mean, I could tell you what my opinions are. I think it's being run by the war profiteers, and I don't think that has a country. And the TPP is just kind of tidying up the details. And they're all just clicking their heels going Sig Heil. You know, like they have given up being Americans. They've forgotten what it's like. People in America forgot what it's like to have Earth Day. Do you know that Jana, the videographer the, from the Occupy Movement, who did my video a few years ago that uh, won in Andrew Abisu's contest, she did not know what Earth Day was. Now, she is much younger, like 30 years, 15 years younger. I don't know. She's like 35. So I guess 25 years younger than me. She had no idea what Earth Day was. She thought it was a celebration. And guess what? I, we're going to actually work together. We're going to collaborate to try to figure something out to make it happen next year so that we have a real protest. Because guarantee you, by next time this year, we're going to need a million people in the street. And that's my goal. So um, that's not what I'm talking to you about. Because we just want to get to next year, right? Fucking Fukushima... Chernobyl, the bullshit war military games that they're doing, the serious threats that are going on, the lying, the collusion inside of our government. Outrageous. So this is why I'm calling, because this morning I was thinking, God, it's probably just pointless to keep calling, but you know what? It's not. We have a 100 senators in this country. Most of them are complete fucking sellouts. A handful of them. Senator Markey, I do not believe, is a sellout. Senator Markey was the only senator who sat through the bullshit hearings that the Republicans had on the energy hearings during the BP stuff. He was the only one who pressured them to get something going, and they did nothing, and he sat through all their bullshit meetings. So I personally love Senator Markey. So if you're from his state, Congratulations. But most of us, we got senators that suck. And guess what? It's because of us. Because we just keep going to the button or we don't go at all. And then we let the fucking lunatics elect people. At least put your name down on somebody that you know is the least hideous. Or write your own name. And write in the Green Party. Get in other parties in there. Get other, there are other parties. Like I recently, after being a lifelong Democrat, I registered as a Green Party member and I plan on voting. Uh, I will vote for Bernie Sanders if he runs. He's an independent and he plans on running. Now let's just see how long a he, that the Democrats don't try to squash him, which they probably already have. And B, Let's hope he doesn't have an accident, because that's how these motherfuckers play. He'll get Paul Will stoned. So let's hope not. You know, if that happens, you know what? I'm voting for Jill Stein. I won't ever vote for Hillary Clinton. I was a lifelong Democrat. Seriously, I voted for Bill Clinton because I was afraid to vote for Ross Perot. Can you believe that? Fear voting for Democrats once again. I have done my last fear voting election ever. I don't care if fucking 
what's that guy from New Jersey gets elected? Or Scott Walker, the Koch brothers' little pet? You know, like, seriously, this country is sick. It's sick with greed. It's sick. The people that are running it are sick. Mental. Mental cases. And they're looking at me like going, oh, look at that. I mean, really seriously, the mentality of the people who think they can just destroy the planet. The Koch brothers have personally destroyed many rivers in Georgia. Anybody listening to this in Georgia, you need to get out everybody who's in office right now. And just go to, it's not that hard, you just vote. Do you know how many people in America don't vote? And we're talking about the riots. and I mean, it's just, this is the thing. All this shit has happened because we have not participated. These people have lied. They've gotten paid shitloads of money to lie. Shitloads of money to lie. Why do you think that Catherine Higley is doing what she does at the university? Do you think when she was a young scientific researcher that she really wanted to just start framing the whole nuclear thing about lies? Oh, well, there's... Do you think that she ever in her life dreamed she would be writing a paper that there was more, as much radiation in a banana as there is coming out of Fukushima? Do you think in her wildest dreams that she really believed she would be doing that in the middle of her career or near the end of her career? Hell no. And I don't care how big of a apologist that she is. I'm sorry, there's some like flying creature in here. It's freaking me out. No, she's a human being. She's a woman. She's a person. But she's been coerced. She's been lying. She wrote a fucking scientific paper that said... There's no more radiation coming out of Fukushima than there is out of a banana. Really? Like, that, that, that's the bullshit. So, so we can call her and harass her, but guess what? That's not going to fix the problem. You know what will fix the problem? Giving in senators who fucking like Barbara Boxer who, you know what? Barbara Boxer's leaving, and that is going to be a huge loss for our country right now. Because Barbara Boxer was one of the few voices who was keeping the NRC in check. And what do you think David Vitter's going to do? He's just going to be a little lap dog, put on his diapers and, <laughs> you know, probably beg one of the men to spank him, for fuck's sake. I mean, honestly, this is what our country has really... We are living in the collapse, and the, the fire in Chernobyl is... All, even if they put it out, which I don't believe they did, it can happen again and it likely will. And it means it means it's a target. Because somebody did that intentionally. And let's don't say who we think it is because, you know, war profiteers, that's who did it. The war profiteers did it. Because, you know, we have a sick society. The only way to heal ourselves is to decide we're going to heal ourselves refuse to speak negatively live by the four agreements number one well number one agreement is be impeccable with your word you know what that means don't talk shit and don't lie and don't think negative thoughts about yourself or about other people and if you catch yourself remind yourself there's a lot to be grateful for and figure out some other way to divert your attention from those negative thoughts that's number one you know, number two, you know what number two is? I don't think I can do them in order, but this is number two. So don't take it personally. Everybody's got their own lies. It's not that personal. They're not looking at you. That actually has allowed me to get out of here on YouTube because you know what? Nobody really gives a flying fuck. But the few people who it connects to, that's what matters. And But number the number two is don't take it personally. Because everyone has their own thing. So if someone hurts your feelings or something, you know, that leads into number three, which is, uh, oh, my gosh, don't make assumptions. That actually means don't make assumptions also means have the courage to ask questions. Right. So if somebody hurts your feelings, you have to have the emotional courage to say to that person, well, that. That kind of hurt my feeling. Or figure out a way to say what you feel 
and get clear with them on what their intentions are. You know, just say, hey, you know what, are you, are you whatever it is. Uh, and then, like with our senators, when they lie to us, we can't take it personally. <laughs> How about that? Um, and then number four is do your best. And so, like, that's all we can do is do our best. And I think that's going to be, the, that's my guiding light. These are the things that I do. But I don't know. This thing in Chernobyl is fucking big. And they're lining up for nuclear war. And it is as big as if they could put fucking neon sign up on fucking the Statue of Liberty that says, Nuclear war coming your way very soon. I mean, honestly... We know why the United States shook hands with Japan. We know what they're going to do militarily. Japan has huge capacity with all those fucking shut down nuclear power plants to make nuclear weapons secretly and develop all kinds of bullshit space shit. I mean, it. you know, this is the thing. We can't imagine what they're going to do. We can't imagine it. But let us imagine what we are going to do. Let us imagine what we will do. When we take it back and we get our constitution back and we're able to build a strong country and we're going to be inclusive and not exclude people and eliminate the poverty. There is no excuse for poverty in this planet right now. None. Except for a few greedy people who just decided that they should just have everything because it's theirs because they deserve it like no it would be one thing i would honestly say that the Koch brothers and their ilk and i'll use that word and i mean it offensively <laughs> um if they actually didn't harm the planet I could care less how fucking rich they are. I would gladly let them be way richer and we could have some poor, some under poor, some middle, you know, have a, like what most Americans think, it goes like this, bink, 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 bink. No, that's not how it is right now. We're like this. This is how many poor we are and this is how far the rich are. So, like, it's not equal. And this is the income. We go like this. Here's the poor, poor, poor way down here. They don't have jack shit. The homeless people or the people, you know, barely making it. And it goes like this. And it goes up like this. And then I think it goes up like this. This is on the economic chart, you guys. You can look this up. And then it goes beep. And then it goes beep. These people over here, like, own this much of everything. Like, if everything is everything, they, the people that at the very top, the 1% of the 1%, own about this much. And the rest of us, all the rest of us here, we own about this much. So it's not about owning, it's about having a lifestyle. Why do you think those kids in Baltimore were fucking pissed off? They're sick of being harassed by the cops. And they're sick of not, you know, the cops actually pulled them off of their school bus, some of those kids. They just, they were on the school bus and the cops made them get off. That's just harassment. That's bullshit. You know... This whole, it is so vulgar to listen to Fox News and their bullshit racism. I can't even tell you. Even MSNBC sometimes drives me crazy. Because there's, there, the overt white male privilege that runs the media in this country is disgusting. And you know what makes it disgusting is they're cruel. They're not human beings. They don't treat people like we, ma we matter. And I'm included in that because I'm over 50. And you know what that means? Over 50? Invisible. You're just invisible. You're not there. Except money in the purse. That's it. I mean, the way we box people in in this country is harming us. And we can be better people. And I would suggest that we live up to the four agreements and first start with be impeccable with your word. 
And then when you start being impeccable with your word, you have to remember not to take it personally because people are going to hurt your feelings or piss you off and really get to you. And then, you know, that leads to the don't make assumptions because then you have to have the courage, the emotional courage to talk to them and bring yourself back to being impeccable with your word so you can just have good thoughts all the time. And then just keep doing your best at it. Just repeat and rinse, repeat and rinse, man. Like, the shit is hitting the fan right now. And if we don't get our heads and our thoughts straight, it is going to turn into exactly what the motherfuckers who funded these people want to have happen. They want chaos. They want us to hate each other. They want villivery. You know, what, what's that word? It's not villivery. Anyways, I can't remember. You know, they want us to vilify each other. That's the simple short of it. You know, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to stick behind Kevin Blanche. I decided I am just, like, not giving up. I've been feeling, like, under a lot of pressure. And, you know, just, like, it's maybe too much for me and blah, blah, blah. But guess what? I'm not giving up. And I'm not going to stop. Kevin's not perfect. Neither am I. And so somebody said, well, why does he need to go there? And I'm like, because he feels like he needs to go. Like, do I think it'll make a huge difference? <clears throat> Who knows? It might be that one stone that pulls the pebble. The whole fucking building comes down. Or it might not. But it might weaken the wall. And then the next time somebody that goes and does something, you know. I mean, Ackerman's doing his fucking awesome artwork. Imagine, Kevin goes, pulls out a pebble here, some stupid fucker from Austria goes, oh yeah, I saw Kevin Blanche, and, you know, he was fucking protesting, that little prick, you know, well, we're going to buy your artwork for $10,000 or $30,000, like, that, you know, and then there's this piece of artwork about Fukushima, and, the, and then they start thinking, like, wow, maybe we really should change our ways. This is how it impacts culture. So... Anyways, I'm going to stop. You guys, it's 17 minutes. <laughs> Put your courage feet on. I am going to read a little bit from the book, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao. Put your thinking caps on.